As historical author Anthony Brandt has said, other things may change us, but we start and end with family. I've been picking the Commonwealth for 20 years, searching high and low at yard, estate sales, antique malls, thrift stores, junk shops, garages, and sometimes even barns for treasures I can pass on to new homes through eBay. But now as I watch my little ones growing up before my eyes, I find that my real treasures are right here with me every day. So join us as we pick, flip, and resell on our two eBay stores and in our two antique booths. Hey everybody, it's Blue Ridge Mama here. Um, Commonwealth Picker is away visiting some family, so I thought I'd sneak down here and hijack the eBay cave for a little while. I made a quick run out to Walmart and Bedford for some necessities, and I said I'm not gonna stop in Goodwill today. But then I thought, you know what? Maybe we need a few more little things for the booth, so I'll run in and run out real quick. Well, real quick ended up being about 45 minutes, but still, you know, life of a thrifter, what can you do? So I thought I'd show you a few little things that I picked up in Goodwill today and kind of take over while Commonwealth Picker is out having some fun. I had a really nice girls trip the other day with my best friend and thought he needed a little downtime fun too. So anyway, first thing here is a caboodle. Ladies of the 80s, 90s will remember these. So I love finding these just for memories. I had a teal blue one. This is pink and kind of marble swirl. It is a little dirty, going to need some cleaning, but nothing much, nothing a few wipes can't handle. Um, it has the little shelves and compartments that you slide open. However, when I peeked inside this one, this did come with some pretty scary little creatures <laughs> and odd knickknacks, but whatever. Toss those out this. Whew. Anyway, um, cleaned up really nicely. It can go for, I'll probably put it on eBay for um, 20 plus the shipping. So it's just a really quick little easy thing to list. And like I said, I love finding them. I found a couple in, e I mean, in Goodwill and at yard sales, but just brings back memories. Um, did pick up several little bird houses here that I will put in the booze. I love this one because it looks like a lighthouse. I love the beach. It's my favorite thing to do. Favorite place to go. Um, just love it. So I thought these were cute. This one has a little drawer, so can be used decorative, but <clears throat> our neighbor next door just loves birdhouses and things. So I know people collect these. They were 99 cents a piece, so I thought that would be good. Also got, I didn't know if I overpaid for these, but they are little handmade, hand crocheted little doily type things. So they're really intricate, really pretty. I like this type of thing. Um, I got this whole bag, so it's about 25 in here. Some come in like sets of four that they're all the same. I paid $2.99, so I'm thinking even if I put a dollar a piece at the booth that, you know, we can make some decent money on them. Um, picked up this little game. I had never seen this before. Pass the Pigs. Pig Party. The classic party game. It says it has, you know, all these ratings and stuff on Facebook, YouTube, blah, blah, blah. But never seen it, never played it. It looks really fun. You try to match the pigs up. It says, um, look out for the dreaded pig out and don't roll an oinker. <laughs> so I paid $1.99. Um comps look like about 15 to 17 dollars and if I don't sell it on eBay it will be a gift for the kids at Christmas we um, often find things you know for really good prices and stick it away in a little cabinet to either give the kids for birthdays or Christmas or whatever and half the time by Christmas I've forgotten what we have in there and I go and I'm like oh my gosh but it's really nice when you don't have to um, spend a lot at Christmas because you've already collected all of these things while out thrifting. Um, we have a M&M's Halloween costume. 
Um, I think Commonwealth Picker talked about in an early video that we have sold lots of Halloween costumes before, but it is just kind of a pain to go through and make sure everything's there. This is a giant M&M, so there are not too many pieces. <laughs> it's obviously just the giant M&M, and it has the gloves, so everything was there. Paid $2.99 for it. Um, I'm probably list for $25-ish with shipping. And then I picked up some clothes. Also found myself a couple cute tops, so shh. Anyway. <laughs> no. Commonwealth Picker does not mind that I shop in Goodwill. We have a pair of Nike women running shorts. And for clothes here, I will we'll, um, cross post on both Poshmark and eBay. I tend to still do better on eBay. I haven't I know grown my Poshmark store as much as I should have. It seems to be a lot more of the social aspect of it, of having to share your closet every day so many times. And I just was not used to that with eBay, so I really need to work on that. But um, I have made about 15 sales on Poshmark, so I'm happy with that. And I'm happy with um, being able to cross post and it selling, <laughs> selling on one or the other. So Nike running shorts. These I just picked up because they were new with tags. I know Fila is not some popular, great brand name. They came from Kohl's, a $30 price tag. <clears throat> I'll probably put them on Posh. And on Posh, I tend to list um, higher than what I'm looking for by about $5 because people send you offers in and you can, you know, leave yourself a little wiggle, wiggle room to negotiate with people and still get what you want out of it. Um, we found some Madewell shorts. They're like little cute pleated shorts. If these were my size, I probably would have kept those. <coughs> um, little floral print, blue, like a royal blue. And I will put those for about 25 on Posh and I would probably put, you know, 15, $16 plus shipping on eBay if I did it that way. My friend and I, we actually went into a Madewell store when we were on our little girls trip and um, their clothes are all really cute. Really not anything that I would pay full price for, but I am not one who loves purses and bags. I usually carry just a little wristlet, but they had the cutest like leather satchels and stuff. So. I'm going to be on the lookout to thrift one of those, but anyway, um, then I got these, this is Vineyard Vines and it's the performance. So kind of like Nike dry fit type of material. One is a polo, sleeveless polo, little fitted shirt and it goes with this skirt, which is really like a skort. It has the shorts under it. So great for, you know, a woman that's looking to play golf, tennis, whatever. So I'll sell the outfit together. On Posh, I would probably put $50 for it together. Um, you know, like to get 40 out of it. And on eBay, I may actually list them separately. So um, that leaves me with this dress. So I saw it and I'm like, well, that looks interesting. I'm like, Star Wars. I couldn't really tell what it was from just glancing. The tag has got BBC exclusive Hot Topic collection. So anyway, this is Doctor Who, which sorry, Doctor Who fans out there. I've never watched. I don't really know anything about it, but a little dress that, you know, like they wear when they go to the conventions and stuff. I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm not a sci-fi person here, but you could just wear it whenever. So looking up comps, um, one just like this, the same size and everything sold, um, just a few days ago for 23 plus shipping. So I will list it somewhere in that area. This one, not sure if I'd list on posh. I may just for fun, just to see. So that is it. Um, thanks for hanging out with me today. I am sorry Commonwealth Picker is off, but we hope he's having a good time out and about with his 
brother and his uncles. This is your CEO of Commonwealth Picker here. And we're going to fill up our new booth in Bedford. And we have a bunch of stuff in the truck. We just painted this nice two door that folds up. A bunch of chairs. And in the back and in the, in the inside of the truck, we have some DVDs, some more, some more stuff in there. And then we also filled up my mom's car full of stuff so we can make sure we have everything filled in the booth. So in here, we have some cooler, little board right here, some tubbleware, the sign, and then I think we're going to put a few more things in here. Reagan and Turner are going to come with us and help set it up, and we'll let you know when we're done. There they are. Here's where we'll be selling our stuff. So now we have to find a parking place. We have Mama, Reagan, and Turner in the car in front of us over here. Both have our cars full packed with stuff. We're about to load up. All right, we are in the basement part of the shop with some of our things, not all of it today since Commonwealth Picker is not actually with us to help load. But I do have this crew of great helpers and my mom will be here soon. So now we have to go up that flight of steps and then another flight of steps. So we'll take you up in a minute and show you what the booth like, looks like before and then show you a little of us putting it together and then later. But we do have a ton of stuff that's left at home. So we'll just see what we have today and see how it goes. So we're carrying all the stuff up the stairs right now. This is the place we'll be selling stuff in pretty big place. Our booth is up here on the top deck. Turner, what are you carrying? Guess he doesn't want to answer today. Ryan's carrying one of our chairs. Mama's, tired. Mama's already tired. Oh, this was heavier than I thought. Nope. And this is our Stay booth back. up here. Nope, not there yet. Come on, Turner. Get to moving. We're all the way in the back, but we do have a window view. So this is our booth up here. Alright, did you bring the ribbon and the wreaths? Yep. No. We're here. Commonwealth Granny is here. Bubba has left, and we're gonna get started. Good night. Progress. Hey, Reagan, what are you doing over there? Where's Turner? All right, still got a little to do and a little pricing to do. And then Turner wants to do some filming, so. Stay. Yeah. All right, I'll see you in a little bit. Hi. What are you doing, Turner? Good. Can you help him, Mama? Yes. Are you the best helper? Yes. Yes, you are, aren't you? Thank you. You're welcome. Do the next one. We are at the booth still walking. Right here is the finished project for right now. And we are out of here right on time. It's five o'clock, so we gotta go. So there it is. Thanks for your help, Commonwealth Granny. Bye, Reagan. Bye, Turner.